Hello, I am Cole Cremines, and this is my presentation on Pete Rosell. On February 5th of 2019, 89.2 million people tuned in to watch the NFL's annual Super Bowl. I assume that many of you observing this speech watched this year's Super Bowl or have at least seen an NFL football game in your life. This monster of an event and one of America's favorite pastimes would not be present today without the life and works of Pete Rozell. Alvin, or Pete Rozell, a very accomplished man, turned the NFL and ultimately football into what it is in today's society by standing up for himself and not letting money sway his opinions. Pete Rozell lived a life of great success turning the NFL into a tremendous entity and fought some great hardship along, the, along this journey. So, first I'd like to talk about how successful Pete Rozelle was. Um, after high school, Pete entered the Navy, so that's pretty heroic in itself. Um, after getting out of the Navy, he attended Compton Junior College, where he uh, did publicity work with the Los Angeles, Los Angeles Rams. And then after that, he attended San Francisco University and became the publicity director and the assistant athletic director. After graduating from San Francisco University, Pete then uh, went to Melbourne, Australia and worked in publicity there. And then finally, he reached his ultimate goal of becoming the commissioner of the NFL in 1960. Um, some of Pete's accomplishments as commissioner, uh, he took the NFL from, like, took football from, like, the smallest sport in America to the top. Like I said, 98.2 million people watched the Super Bowl. Uh, he was an outstanding leader, and he brought a whole organization success. Um, later in his career, he was voted the 20th century's most powerful person in sports, and he is now in the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Uh, next, I would like to talk about how Pete influenced the NFL and football as a whole. Um, like I said earlier, football is now the most popular and the most watched sport in America, passing baseball a while back. Uh, the first contract Pete, Pete got to bring football popularity was a signing with CBS, which was $9.3 million for three years of watching the NFL. And today, obviously, there are many more television channels that view the NFL multiple days a week. So what Pete added to the NFL during his time, uh, early in his career, the AFL and the NFL were separate, and he merged those two. Uh, he created the Super Bowl, which is one of the most famous single-day events in sports history. Um, when Pete took over the NFL, there was only 14 teams, and now there are 32. And he sparked a passion for football all across America. Um, along with Pete's success, there was a lot of big challenges. So... First off, I have a quote from Tex Strong, who was a NFL owner when Pete got elected to be the commissioner. He said, they finally picked Pete as a compromise because both sides thought they could control him, but they were wrong. Pete was a lot stronger than any of them realized. So this shows that the NFL owners thought they were going to be able to control Pete and get what they want, but this was false. And then later in his career, uh, they just kept signing him back all the way till, until 1989 where he retired. Um, another challenge with Pete's career was that he was diagnosed with brain cancer at the end of his career. Um, this led to his retirement in 1989 and led to his death in 1970. Um, some other challenges included, uh, at the beginning of Pete's career, there's a lot of gambling going on, and he shut that down right away by suspending players, so that didn't happen like it did in baseball. Um, early in his career, there was a lot of competition with the AFL. He shut that down pretty quickly because he just bought the AFL and brought it in. And then he improved the league's image because earlier in his career, uh, Joe Namath, pictured here, had stocks in nightclubs, and he didn't like that for the image of the NFL. So he said, so here's the deal. You're either going to retire or you're going to have to sell those stocks so you can keep playing. And Joe sold the stocks so he could keep playing. So not only did Pete influence America by showing that anything can be done through hard work and determination, 
we also created the bond between millions of Americans. For concluding thoughts, I would like to tell you about how the life and works of Pete Rozelle have affected my family. Football is a tremendous factor in not only my life, but the relationships I have with my family. Every male on my mother's side of the family grew up playing football and learning the lessons the great sport has to offer. Everyone else in the family went to watch my family members play, and they now come to watch me play on Friday nights. We watch my cousin play on Sundays now as he plays for the Los Angeles Rams. Football has provided possibly the strongest bond in my family, and none of that would be possible without Pete Rozelle. Roselle's strong will and wit turned the great game of football into what it is today. Pete Roselle's advancement of the NFL has created a bond that can unite all of America. Thank you for viewing my presentation.